For the millions of Americans traveling by air this holiday season, there will be tons of bags getting checked at the counter. But do you ever wonder what happens to your bag once it goes on the conveyor belt? Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell is working for you tonight, getting an exclusive look at what happens to your checked bags at Indianapolis International Airport and the surprising find that many of those bags are not inspected by a human. It's a part of the airport most have never seen. Behind double locked doors, a maze of four miles of conveyor belts and machines takes your bag on a trip from the ticket counter to the plane. What you see here is a representation of half of our baggage system. And it does it all while making sure everything inside the bag is safe. But it's not a human checking all of those bags. We do not see every bag that's checked. Because it comes down the line, hits the machine, the machine decides, hey, this has got something you may need to look at. We sent our GoPro through the maze of belts. It's eventually finding its way to the scanning machine. The box our GoPro was riding in had rubber tubes in it, something the machine knows is often used in improvised explosives. As it, cut, it slices the bag just like a loaf of bread, so we can get a very good idea of what's in that bag. Because of the rubber tubes in the box, the scanner spit it out and sent a warning to TSA officers, and the box was sent into the inspection room. And we have another bag. So, I need to look at my monitor real quick. When a bag pops into the room, a digital scan also pops up on the monitor, showing officers exactly where they need to look. When we do go in a bag, like I said, we have a very specific area we need to look at. We use protective covering, so we're not just going in with sweaty hands. We handle everybody's property as if it's our own. But the chances of your bag heading into the inspection room are slim. TSA says the odds are about 20 in 1 that a TSA employee will ever come into contact with your bag. On the screen, it looks nasty, and you're going, oh, oh goodness. But when you get in the bag, it's usually something laid up against something else. It, it's very innocuous. But if they do, they'll inspect it, repack it, and add a little slip that it was inspected. Then it's back on the belts and on the way to your plane. It's an extremely important job. I think uh, oftentimes they don't get uh, the credit they deserve. Every officer I know, our goal is to come into work, and it's not going to happen on our shift again. It's never going to happen on our shift. I want to go home with that satisfied look on my face when I walk in the door, or that satisfied feeling. TSA says they're constantly making upgrades. They're going to be installing new machines here in the next six or nine months. Then they'll be able to process even more bags per hour. At the Indianapolis International Airport, I'm Call 6 Investigates, Paris Lubell.